ADHREC is a site built around the statistics that make up our format, but sometimes those stats might not represent what cards work best in a deck. Welcome to Challenge the Stats, where I'm going to be looking at two cards that could be used for a popular commander, one that I think sees too little play and one that I think sees too much. Ghostly Prison is currently showing up in 21% of Kenrith the Return King decks, and Propaganda's at 17%, and I'm not sure either should see that much play. Both are essentially the same card, one in blue, one in white, and read, Creatures can't attack you unless their controller pays two for each creature they control that's attacking. So they force your opponents to pay attacks for every creature swinging your direction. Now, I personally don't love Pillow Fort cards like this. In my experience, very often they lend themselves to people feeling overconfident and ability to not get attacked, which opens them up for a blowout counter-strike when they act recklessly confident in their own safety. Um, more importantly, though, Kenneth is a commander that is very creature-reliant in the decks he's built. Almost all of the abilities on that card are requiring you to have creatures in play. He's also a very aggressive, powerful commander. This isn't the kind of commander that wants you to hide behind your shields. Your commander's a 5-5 five, five that can give all of your bodies trample and haste. They can recur dead creatures, put more bodies in play, and they can buff them all with counters. The best defense in that kind of deck is just to kill everybody. Lastly, one of the most effective things about propaganda type effects is how they discourage chip damage early on. Except you're playing a commander with a life gain ability baked in. Losing a few points of chip damage here or there is already easily offset. Neither card just feel like they play the game Kenrith wants to play, or at least they don't play it often enough to justify showing up in one-fifth of Kenrith decks. Now, while I feel like Ghostly Prison and Propaganda are probably overplayed, Parade of Fire is in only 54 of a 14,000 Kenrith decks. Parade of Fire is an enchantment that costs two mana, one in a red. It has cumulative upkeep, and that cost is add one to your mana pool. So basically, you're gaining mana as a cost, and that's cumulative, so the first turn that you deal with the upkeep, you get a single red, next turn two, next turn three, next turn four. Now, that was maybe a downside when mana burn was a thing, but now that it's not a thing, it's just a card that gives you progressively more and more mana every turn that you have to use during your upkeep. Now, finding ways to spend mana before you go to your draw step isn't always easy, unless you're playing a commander with five different activated abilities. Then it's very, very easy. Kenrith, like all monarchs, is a greedy monster who wants all the mana his subjects have, and who are us peasants to tell him no? It, it doesn't matter if you put a plus one counter on a creature during your main phase or during your upkeep. It doesn't matter if you draw a card during your main phase or your upkeep. It doesn't matter if you gain life then or grab a creature from your graveyard. Braid of Fire generates a tremendous amount of mana that's useful for every single one of Kenner's abilities. So, in short, Braid of Fire underplayed and propaganda in Ghostly Prison probably a little bit overplayed. Thanks for listening. And remember, EDH record deck before you record deck. Bye.